Hello Bjorn, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Hello Christopher. I'm glad we managed to spend some time together. Mm -hmm. so I believe it's your first time in London as well. Yes, it is. Oh, we need to celebrate. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <so. laughs> we must do that. And as we said, we timed it, you timed it very well because the weather is pretty kind uh, yes. those days. Uh, so. I brought the sunshine, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> what else can I say? We should stop the interview here. No, thank you very much for your time. So we are at Innovate Finance Global Summit 2019. Mm -hmm. It's day two, so it's almost the end of the event. Mm -hmm. You've been here for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. ish. Yeah. Could you please share that experience? I mean, how good the event was for you as an organization? Well, yeah, um, as an organization, it's very important for us to, um, to be representative here. Um, it's very nice to uh, come out to uh, and meet all the other uh, fintech startups and, um, and so on in this space. It's, uh, so it's been a really good experience overall, yeah. So uh, a lot of great relationships and again insights as well gathered by listening to other fintech on stage. Yeah, you said? I mean, uh, contacts, new contacts, new uh, new talks with the new people, and um, also getting inspired by how everybody else are, are seeing the whole uh, the whole universe. Yeah, mm, I like that inspired. It's all about inspiration and, and passion as well. If I step back again, could you please tell us? A bit more about your organizations, what yeah. it is you do, and uh, and your key markets. Yeah, uh, well, um, Nordic IP Gateway, uh, as we are called, um, is basically really simple access to financial data of all the Nordic banks. Mm -hmm. So we provide the API gateway for uh, other to build uh, their services uh, towards their customers. Um, with this whole uh, new regulation in the EU, it's certainly opened up a lot of uh, interest in that area. But we actually have been doing this uh, since 2012, I think. <laughs> uh, and I know, and I've heard a story, I think Thomas shared a story, I don't know if you can share it now. Mm. But he mentioned maybe like a story, possibly with a bank, where you used to do that before. and. You might have had some trouble with that specific bank and mm. now a few years later mm. the bank might be partnering with you and doing some exciting things yes, together. Yes. Is it something you can share? Yeah, I, I can share a little bit about that. It's, uh, it was, uh, I'm actually not sure uh, which year this, uh, this all occurred, but um, some years back when this was all very new to everybody, we were basically uh, doing uh, stuff that uh, certain banks uh, thought that would uh, that was illegal, and in uh, in that uh, at that time we uh, uh, our founder was um, reported to the police for for um, integrating into the to the banks and um, so like hacking almost like yeah. ba basically hacking uh, yeah that's uh, I think that's a common word for it um, but. <laughs> <sighs> instead of um, instead of um, not uh, uh, cooperating with the, with this uh, bank, uh, our uh, company uh, went in open open arms and showed uh, what we are doing, how we're doing it, and why we're doing it, and that uh, ended up being actually the reason why this bank. Uh, now is one of our most happy clients <laughs> we have. It's funny to go back in time and think back about <coughs> that specific moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. that moment where the police contact you <laughs> mm -hmm. must be like a science fiction mm -hmm. moment. But anyway, yes. So it's a great story, though. Uh, I, I've heard for, especially the founders, there were many sleepless nights. <laughs> Can just imagine mm -hmm. how it felt. But, mm -hmm. but again, fast forward mm -hmm. a few years later, mm -hmm. and now it's a whole different ball game. It is. It is. Uh, it's 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 much it's much more recognized for everybody now, and it's uh, of course we're not all we we're not uh, the only ones doing this, but we are definitely ahead of uh, many, and um, we are doing it our way, and um, so yeah, by now we uh, integrate it to all the banks in the Nordic countries, and um, looking to expand that further. So you're trying to expand the ecosystem, which means like organizations, like startups, uh, fintech, to build on and exploit those APIs, mm -hmm. right? To bring some value to the market, actually, mm -hmm. in Scandinavia. Or are you trying to potentially do approach a similar, adopt a similar approach 
abroad and in other parts of the world? Actually, we're doing a mix both. Of both. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we want to do both, of course. Um, our whole platform uh, as a, a service that we are providing to, to others are actually fairly new. So uh, for us, we have two main priorities. is of course, to maintain the system we have in place now in all the Nordics, because that's like our key to, to get this uh, platform enrolled. And, um, and of course, there's the other side where we want to expand this to other countries abroad. Uh, UK could be an example, yeah. So hence one of the reasons for being here today. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's not just about being inspired. No. It's also to concretely actually finding ways yes. to uh, grow exactly. the business here. Maybe find a partner where we could do some uh, uh, cooperation together or something like that. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. The last question is going to be, according to you, you work with a lot of banks and a lot of possibly fintech as well. So mm -hmm. picking back in on your uh, API, mm -hmm. according to you, what is or what are the key challenges to drive growth in the fintech space again and the rise of those APIs? Is there one obvious challenge, at least in Scandinavia, mm. or a couple? Uh, I think that the, there are a couple, but basically what I see right now is, um, is the, 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 main, the main focus we have to do right now is, is, to, is time, basically. We, we, because it's, the market is, 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 is changing really, really quick right now. And um, there are many, many uh, requests for the services. We have to, you know, we want to fulfill them all. And, um, and time is the essence for this, to, uh, to get out there and, uh, and basically still be some of the first who are applying this platform. So time and surely prioritization as well to finding you know, definitely, definitely, where to focus yeah. your attention and uh, go after that. Yeah, yeah that's it's probably going to be the most uh, critical uh, subjects uh, in the next 12 months for us. Okay. Well, I wish you all the best. Again, um, grateful you sat down with us for a few minutes. Yeah, no and uh, hopefully we'll catch up soon, whether here in the UK or maybe uh, back home yeah. in Denmark. That'd You're be more than welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bjorn. <laughs> Thank you. Merci.